today's maths lesson, our learning question says, can I develop my knowledge of angles? And yesterday we learned that an angle is the space between two lines that meet. And we learned that there were three different types of angles. We learned that there was a right angle, which is 90 degrees. And this little circle here represents degrees, and that's what we measure angles using. We had an acute angle, which was less than 90 degrees. And then we had an obtuse angle, which was greater than 90 degrees. But less than 180 degrees. Now today we've got to use all of our knowledge on those right angles, acute angles and obtuse angles to answer some problem solving questions. So here it says match the angles which will still be acute when they are combined. So that means you're going to choose one number from this side and one number from that side and then add them together. And if we want it to be an acute angle, we know that it's got to be less than 90 when combined. So I'm going to choose my biggest number on this side and add it to my smallest number on that side. So I'm going to go for 79 degrees and 10 degrees and I know if I add those together that I get 89 degrees which is smaller than 90. Well, then I'm going to go for my next biggest number, which is 65, and then my next smallest number, which is 20. So I'm going to add those two together. 65 add 20 equals 85 degrees, which again is less than 90, so still an acute. And then I've got 12 and 60 degrees left, so if I add those two together, I get 72, which again is still an acute angle because it's less than 90. Let's have a go at another one then. Well, so this one wants to know which one is the odd one out. So you've got to look at them very carefully and think what's the same about some of these angles and what's different. Now I can see that this one's got the square here, so that must be a right angle. This one also has the square, so that must be a right angle. And so does this one, which means this angle must be my odd one out and it's an odd one out because the rest of the angles Because that one is smaller than our right angle, we know that that one must be an acute angle. Okay, last one then for today. It says using the digits below, can you create more obtuse angles or more acute angles? So I'm going to start by creating a little bit of a table. So there are my obtuse angles. And this side I'm going to have my acute angles. Okay. Now we haven't got to add these numbers together, we're just going to put them next to each other. So I know if I put 6 in front of 1, I get 61. And 61 is less than 90, so that must be an acute angle. I'm going to choose some more numbers. This time I'm going to go for 6 and a 0, which again is less than 90, so an acute angle. And then 6 and 8, 68 is an acute angle as well. Now I'm going to go with my 1. 1 and 6, 16 would be an acute angle. 1 and 0, 10 would be an acute angle. 1 and 8, 18 would be an acute angle. And you're going to continue to work through these digits 
to see if you can create more acute angles or more obtuse angles. Remembering that obtuse angles are bigger than 90 and that acute angles are smaller than 90. And for all stars today, so one star, two star, three star or four star, you're going to answer some problem solving and reasoning questions using your knowledge of angles.